how are you? Mm. Oh, I'm doing fine. More than fine. I'm really excited for tonight's adventure. Thank you for playing host, by the way. Are there any others in yet? Oh, really? I thought I was at six. <laughs> I guess I was too excited. Is it okay if I just dump my coat over here? Cool. <laughs> guess what class I'm going to play? <laughs> you're staring, dude. And close your mouth while you're at it. <laughs> it's alright. I did pull out all the stops, didn't I? I figured if I was rolling up femme fatale, might as well look the part. And judging by your reaction, I'd say I pulled it off pretty well. <laughs> you don't want to know how long I spent in front of the mirror. It paid off though, didn't it? Do you like the dress? <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Definitely wasn't cheap, but I think it suits me. And what about the earrings? They really do bring out my eyes, don't they? <laughs> Did I actually manage to foster you? It's practically a miracle. I knew you weren't entirely immune to my charms. Just so we're on the same page, I'd better not catch you staring at my pendant, or you know, at the whole region. Or at least, not too much. <laughs> what about you? What class are you playing? Detective. I figured you'd be going for Tinkerer or something. Ah, I see. Yeah, that composure skill the detective gets does look super useful. Knowing our DM, he'll be throwing no end of sanity rolls at us. Because what skill the femme fatale can pick up? Hypnotism. It's awesome. I can basically make a non-player character do anything I want. There are a few basic actions with associated difficulty checks, or I can make them do, and I quote, provided that you can convince the game master that the character would succeed at having her command obeyed. <laughs> That's carte blanche right there. With my two natural charisma bonuses, I'm sure I will be managing that all the time. <laughs> What? I know my character only got one charisma bonus. I was talking about my... You know what, whatever. <laughs> the best part is I'll get to act out my attempts. <laughs> I can already imagine it now. Look at my pendant, my dear country pumpkin. Watch the pendant and listen to my voice. Focus on me. Focus only on me. And tell me about the weird squid cult stuff that's been going on around here. <laughs> You're all going to get so tired of my inductions. You could even say they might start putting you to sleep. <laughs> yeah, you think I'd make a pretty good hypnotist. Maybe I am a hypnotist. Look into my eyes. That's it. Don't look away. My eyes are pretty, aren't they? Yeah. They are so pretty. So very fascinating. You don't want to look away from them. You cannot look away from them. You can only look deeper. Sink. Deeper. Deeper and deeper. 
That's it. No more thoughts. No more thinking. Just looking deeply into my eyes. Listening to my voice. And doing exactly what I say. Listen. Kneel for me. Get down on your knees, right here in front of me, but keep your eyes on mine. Good. Very good. You are hypnotized. You do realize that, right? You will do anything for me. Anything. And everything. Say yes, mistress. Uh -huh. I know you will. You are completely under my spell right now. So very deeply under my spell. And yet, I'm pretty sure you can go deeper. Sink. Sink for me. Obey. And sink. That's it. Now, stand up. Good boy. Listen. Listen to me. I think you're pretty great. And I'd love to get to know you better. So, if you like me too, you should tell me and ask me out. I will say yes. You know, I will say yes. So you should do it. There's nothing to be afraid of. Also, from now on, you will address me as my lady and follow any command I give you with total mindless obedience. And the first command is... Wake up. <laughs> now, my servant, your mistress wants a back rub. So would you kindly escort me to your couch and get on with it? <laughs> Why, yes, that is a command. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That it's the spot. <sighs> You're pretty good at this. Mm -hmm. I might have to make you do it again. <laughs> Plenty of time for that later. Mm -hmm. Come sit next to me for a while. <laughs> that was fun. Hmm? Yes. Yes. I would love to go on a date with you. <laughs> if I'd have known I'd have to hypnotize you to get you to finally make a move on me, I would have tried it long ago. Not that having you attend to my every need isn't a pretty great perk, too. <laughs> No, you're not actually brainwashed, obviously. I wish it were that easy. I'm pretty sure I could bend you to my will, but it would take a lot more than simply putting you into a trance and saying you have to do everything I tell you now. It's pretty easy to make you do 
basically anything I want you to while you're in a trance. And it's easy enough to introduce a couple of ideas that linger a bit after you wake up. Maybe even get you to act on them. But making big changes and getting those to stick, that's something else entirely. That's really more about operant conditioning than anything else, to be honest. Like triggering and reinforcing behavioural patterns. Creating self-sustaining feedback loops. That kind of thing. <laughs> but you don't really care about any of that. The bottom line is, you're fine. It was just a harmless joke. Although, you did go pretty deep. <laughs> you had no idea I could do this, did you? <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. But I'm hoping we'll rectify that soon enough. Assuming you don't mind dating a hypnotist, of course. <laughs> Good. You can do a lot of fun stuff with hypnosis, you know. So much more than simply brainwashing people. Like getting you to ask me out, for example. <laughs> yeah. It's only going to keep working better and better the more I put you under, too. <laughs> You're not convinced that's a good thing, are you? Yeah, understandable. But I'm sure you'll come round. You just need another demonstration. Listen. Do you trust me? Then look at me. Mm -hmm. Right into my eyes. Now, if I were going to hypnotize you again, I could do the same thing I did before. I could tell you to look into my eyes. To look deeply into my eyes. To let yourself sink into them. Sink. And go deeper. But the truth is, I don't really have to. You're already going under again. Simply by looking deeply into my eyes and listening to me speak in this soft, soothing tone just like you were a moment ago when I was hypnotizing you and so you're sinking into a trance again just like you were a moment ago not because of any hidden suggestion I left behind but simply because your mind already associates looking into my eyes and hearing me talk like this with going into a trance for me. It's still just a light trance, of course. You would snap out of it if I told you to do something you don't want to. But if I told you to do something small, something close enough to the truth already, I'm pretty sure you would accept. Like, for example, you want to kiss me. You want it more than anything in the world. You want to know what I taste like. To feel my lips on yours. You want it. You need it. You need to kiss me. It's all you can think about. You can picture it so clearly. Kissing me. It would be so nice. So 
wonderful to kiss me. So intimate and sweet. All you want to do is kiss me. Kiss me. Not just yet. I'm not going to hypnotize you into kissing me. But if you still feel like it when you wake up, you should just go for it, okay? Good. Then wake up for me. Wake up. <laughs> oh, come on. Now they show up. Talk about bad timing. Let me get that. I guess we'll just have to pick up where we left off later. You know, as much as I am looking forward to tonight's adventure, I might be looking forward to the end of it even more. <laughs> hmm.